Hey, hello viewers. Uh, in this video, I'm uh, going to show you or I'm going to share with you my installation experience about a modification of a hood quick lift system, which is a, I would say, a quite a mod to our Mark III Focus or model year 2012 and above Ford Focus. And uh, one of the good things about this mod is uh, you get the, uh, that cheap port rod hood supporting things out of the way. And uh, it also gives your focus a little bit more upscale look by installing a gas spring strut to support the hood. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to show you what I'm going to install and how I'm going to install it. Okay, before we get started, these are the tools I highly recommend you use or you will need to complete this uh, DIY test. And uh, one of the things about this is uh, you need a touch of paint. I would suggest you, you, you got a touch of paint because uh, some of the screws you are going to unbolt or remove will expose um, I would say the unpainted area if you want to make it look nicer or um, look more professional in store I suggest you got a, a touch of paint to paint up those bare metal area not really bare metal they are primed but they are not body color uh, of course you know to get the touch of paint you, you better get the motorcraft or you know the Ford genuine one which you will have a uh, exact color match but uh, depends on uh, what color of your Ford Focus is uh, you can use uh, whatever similar color which you can find as a touch of paint which is which is okay because most of these uh, need to paint area they are all under the hood and they are not really visible from the outside but like I said, you know, if you want to make it look nicer or look professional, you better got a touch of paint. And uh, for the socket, you need deep sockets. You need a 10 millimeter deep socket uh, and uh, a 13 millimeter deep socket. Also, uh, the ratchet, which is when you undoing the bolt. And this, an inch pound top wrench. I highly recommend you use this when you do the installation. Okay, here I want to show you the completed side of it, which is the driver side in, in this case. And uh, here is very much a straightforward bolt on or bolt in system. Basically, it just involves a bolster at here and two mm, I think it's a nuts on the hood you insert the bracket and then you pop in the strut and then you install the ball stub here and lock in the the end of the of the from the gas strut and that's about it and then just screw everything back and that's how the things is react actually this gas strut is a progressive type so at the beginning when you open the hood it's pretty smooth and when it near the end it gives you a little nice resistance which is slowly damping uh, to open the hood fully okay let's get started basically the process is pretty straightforward to install the gas spring strut the process involves unbolting these two nuts, install the bracket, tighten it up, and then remove the bolt here, put in the replacement bolt stud, pop the shelf in or, or the, the, the gas strut in, and that's pretty much it. And also we routing the on the right hand side of the of our car, we need to reroute this uh, water or uh, actually windshield washer holes underneath the bracket to give space to the strut when it rests on it and also eventually we are going to remove this uh, hood bumper but uh, 
before we do all that, um, the most important part is uh, doing all the preparation. One thing I would recommend before we unbolt these two nuts from the hood is to uh, use some painter tape to uh, mark the location of the hood hinge just in case you know if uh, if it got is aligned we know where the original position is so we don't need to realign it afterward so I'm um, in the next section I'm going to put in some painter tape to align it and uh, here when we remove the bolt here I already loosened it so it will expose the unpainted part of the fender's metal and this is where the uh, touch of paint come in you better once you remove the bolt better touch it up whatever bare metal you can see just to make it look nicer you, you can leave it unpainted but it just doesn't look, look nice I don't think it will rust because it's already treated it's just that uh, there's no body color on it so and that's where the uh, touch of paint comes in and uh, the other thing I would suggest is to uh, before we undo the hood or un before we lose the loosen the hood I suggest we put a rake here just in case to wedge between actually let me show you if you look at it the space between the hood angle or the edge is very very close to the this body plastic strip so I recommend to put a, a rig here just in case if it when we uh, undo the bolt and it fall a little bit and you don't want to scratch your car so this is just uh, a precaution step so uh, let me put some paint and tape to uh, mark my original location before uh, we go forward here we are by marking the original hood hinge with the painter tape so you know the exact location of where it it is it just in case you know if uh, if we loosen these two nuts and uh, the hood slide a little bit so you we, we, we know how to readjust it back so uh, when we are going to remove it, remove the bolt, uh, make sure we do it one at a time slowly. Just don't do it too quickly. And uh, the socket we are using here is the 10 millimeter deep socket. We need a deep one because we have a stud in there. So I'm going to show it to you. So just gently lose the bolt one at a time. I get one at a time. As you can see, the hood uh, can actually move quite a bit after you unbolt it. So that's why before you unbolt those hood nuts, you better mark your original hood uh, hinge location carefully. So uh, you don't need to worry about where the right alignment you know after you re uh, retighten the bolt and uh, once you remove the the nuts and this is where the touch up paints come in so uh, I'm going to touch up this area and to make it nice and uh, wait until it dry then uh, I'm going to install that uh, uh, hood bracket actually so uh, let me touch it up and uh, and wait until it dry. Then we're going to the next steps. Okay, I got it painted. You know, after removing the bolts, one thing I forget to mention uh, is uh, other than the rig, I actually suggest you put something like a, a book or something, which is a uh, similar height when the hood is fully open before you uh, undo the uh, nuts which help to support and also uh, eliminate most of the big movement like I, I show you in the last section so right now I actually put something which uh, support the hood in a much more stable form so while we are waiting uh, for the 
touch-up paint to dry around here if you didn't already unbolt this unbolt this bolt here then uh, you can do it at the same time also so uh, this bolt is also uh, a 10 millimeter socket using a 10 millimeter socket so after you unbolt it you I already did it before you can also use a touch of paint to paint the original washers covered area which I already did and at the meantime while you're waiting for this for that upper section to dry you can actually install the ball stud provided by the by the kit which uh, which also come with a washer so make sure you use the provided washer from the system because they actually thin out the, the washer to ma minimize the height of the bolster to give as much space as uh, it can in this area for the strut to rest upon too because uh, the whole section here is actually when the hood is closed there's a very limited space to let the gas strut actually rest on it so that's why when they engineer the system they uh, put into their can to maximize the space so, uh, I'm going to uh, need another hand to uh, put the bolt on for this uh, hand for this bolt, bolt stud bolt to install first you hand tie it back into its place and then we are using a deep socket 13 millimeter this is a 13 millimeter socket to tighten it up and uh, I don't think it mentioned into the uh, installation sheet or from the video but uh, I find that the proper top range for this bolt is no more than 89 inch pound so uh, use your top wrench and tie it and tie it up no more than 89 inch pound otherwise you may strip it you may you may talk less but remember don't talk more than 89 inch pound for this boat and that's why I highly recommend you use a, a top wrench to do the installation Eighty-nine inch pound, no more than eighty-nine. Remember. Now the next step, we are going to install the hinge bracket on here. Okay, here is the hinge bracket bracket for the strut. For the proper orientation, make sure the ball stud for from the hinge strut or for, from the hinge bracket actually is facing outside outward according to the menu so the idea is you put the hinge bracket back to the stud and then we're going to install the nuts back to here while tightening you need to realign the hood carefully based on uh, your original marking and uh, Eventually, you hand tighten the bolt first and then use a ratchet to uh, slightly tighten up both nuts until uh, you need to use the top wrench also. The proper top value, uh, I find out, maybe not from the manual, but I find out that you should torque it no more than 11 foot pound of torque. So to convert it back to the inch pound, if you are using the uh, inch pound torque wrench, which is no more than one thirty two uh, inch pound of torque, either no more than eleven foot pound, or no more than one thirty two inch pound of torque. This is very important because if you over tighten too much, and you may potentially break the stud from the hood. If you did that, you will have a very bad day because. This thing basically is, a li I, I believe it's, it's welded into the hood or something. If this guy breaks, aha, 
then I don't know what you're going to do. You may need to weld it back to start, or you need to find some way to uh, reattach the hood uh, back to the hinge. So remember, do not torque the nut back into the stud more than 11 foot pound or 132 inch pound of torque. Just to remember that. I'm going to install it uh, in the next, next section. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install the strut. Okay, once you install the hood bracket, we align the hood and uh, retighten both bolts to the proper torque value. Again, the torque value no more than 11 foot pound or 132 inch pound. Again, 11 foot pound or 132 inch pound of torque for these two bolts. No more than that. Otherwise, you know, you may risk to uh, break these two stud potentially. So, again, be careful. Now is a touch of paint time. And this is where the touch of paint come from. You see all this marking here, you know, after you uh, you unscrew it or, or, or using a socket, then uh, using the touch of paint to touch up all that before you install the strut because once the strut uh, is installed, it will be in a way so it will be a little bit harder for you to touch 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 up later okay we are almost finished installing the whole thing uh, before we installing the uh, gas spring strut one thing we need to do on the right hand side of this vehicle is to reroute the windshield washer hole to give it space for the struts to rest upon eventually. So uh, the menu actually suggests that we unclip this water windshield washer hose and then unclip the bracket here and there's a clip here you press upon and to lift up to lift it up a little bit. You can see to move the water hose underneath the car. Okay, once we have rerouted the washer hose underneath, we are ready to install the gas strut. So, first, we are pop the strut into the hood bracket first. Okay, now there's a to install the ball strut. We first need to uh, align the hood. Actually, we need to remove the safety clip first. As you see, there's a there's a clip here which. We will need to remove a C clip, a C shape clip here. We we'll remove it first. This is a uh, to lock the four stud in place. So and then we realize, you know, if you turn counterclockwise, you actually hear a loosen sound. I, I believe this strut here there's a screw to uh, lock the things into the place so if you want to adjust you better turn it clockwise just to maintain the tightness of the strut and then now we're going to place it inside the ball stud You adjust the bolster to uh, properly align with the stud here. All right, like this. All right. All 
Oui. Make sure you the bowl is actually sit on the bowl stuff itself. Now the last step is to uh, reinstall the lock clip. So uh, it will lock the things into place. There's a hole here. Should we insert the clip? Insert it. And then lock it in. And I believe that's it. Just double check. The bolter is in place. This one once you can once you put the clip in or you 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 are successfully put the clip in, this thing is locked. So, so you are good to go. Now let's test it. This thing. Ah no wonder. Good thing I, I'm testing it. So remember, you need to remove the hood bumper in order to give more space or give enough space for the strut to sit in there. So let's try that one more time. Now that's better. And uh, there's one more last step is uh, to apply a, a transparent film which is provided by the clip which is a uh, help to protect the potential rubbing of the strut to the hood here the application area is near the original uh, hood bumper according to the menu I'm going to apply the film here which I already did on the other side it's like that this help to uh, protect any potential rubbing you know from the strut to the hood itself but uh, I'm going to do it in the last step but anyway that's the whole job and uh, it works pretty well and very sturdy I can tell you that one more time that's the power of two struts and uh, that's pretty much it I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this uh, mod video oh and uh, I forget one thing the menu suggested you can take out the the pop rod if you uh, want it to because uh, it's up to you if you want to leave it in place you know no problem but uh, you can also take it out because uh, you no longer need it uh, it really depends so it's up to you if you want you can remove it or you can leave it in place it won't be in your way but uh, anyway I'm pretty satisfied of uh, the install and it actually gives me more freedom whenever I open the hood because there's a no more pop strut get in my way to work on stuff and uh, it looks cool also pretty functional okay until next time thanks for watching